professional development forms that we've created uh, online. First step is to go ahead and click the create PDF form. This will start the process for your application. And much like the Word document you see, it lists all the uh, requirements up above, and here's where we we'll actually fill out the form. The things that are required for this form is the name, email, the building, the date of the actual professional development opportunity, and subjects and grade levels that are taught. And I'll just kind of walk you through this here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out uh, my name my email address and go ahead and hit the drop down here on the building and I'm gonna go ahead and just use today's date which it automatically by default puts in today's date in the date uh, field fill out subjects continue on to the rest of the application. Uh, this, the second part of the application uh, you need to fill out in order to help you get approval from the BLT and DLT so uh, please take your time while you try and fill this out. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through this quickly uh, in order to show an example of how to fill this out. Select A on my text here and this third one uh, obviously you can fill in anything you would like uh, that answers uh, number three another thing is you can also put who will be attending or the dates of the whole professional development if it spans multiple days and fill this out and obviously the estimated expenses uh, for this uh, professional development opportunity and also make sure you contact the treasurer's office for the cost per mile if there's any travel cost uh, with this And also lodging if, if you will be staying multiple nights for this. And we'll just go ahead and hit submit. After we hit submit, it goes ahead, it, it submits the uh, application. The BLT uh, or the principals will get an email stating that someone has filled out a professional development application. And you also get an email with the status key, which is what you see here on the screen. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to also show you how to check the status <clears throat> of your PD form, or excuse me, PD application. So to check the status of the application, from the home page, I'm going to click the check status button. Now we'll type that status key in here or paste it in. Go ahead and hit submit. And as you as you see here, uh, the yellow means it has not been reviewed yet or looked at yet. And it will stay yellow until it is reviewed by either the BLT first and then on to the DLT. Uh, once it's being under review, this little yellow box will turn blue, and if the BLT approves it, this box will turn green, and it'll say BLT has approved it, and obviously it goes on to the next step to the DLT. And it is the same thing here. Um, if the DLT has approved, this box will turn green and, tell, and will tell you that DLT has approved it, has been denied, they'll say DLT denied, and this box turns red. 
and that is how you use the NACS professional development forms. Thank you.